Oh, he landed it. What is up, guys? Matt here coming at you with some more Max Smasher footage. Uh, everybody burning these things up right now, just loving anything I post on them. And finally, I got to go ahead because it is live now to post up a video on this new Fury Tech motor. This is the Greyhound. It's like a mini Godzilla. Look how small this thing is, and it is freaking mighty. Um, unbelievable power from this thing. So let's talk a little bit about it. It's a 1410 7500 kV. So this thing rips and it's so small. Look at this. Here's a stock SEX24 motor. It's not much bigger than that. And it's brushless with insane power. Um, this one here has the FMS speed motor in it. And we know that thing is fast. Um, nowhere near as fast as this. I mean, it's pretty dang good, but this is insanely fast. And with this setup, I can run 3S. This speed motor with the stock ESC, you can only run 2S. So I get a lot of questions about that. Um, this ESC can only run 2S. If you put a 3S in it, it don't hurt it. It'll power on, but about two seconds, it powers right back off. It just won't run it. So, um, going this route, of course, is the easy way to get the speed that you need and really a very controllable fun truck with this speed motor 13 bucks throw it in there bolt straight up and connect straight to the stock esc not much work there if you want to go nuts and over the top then this is the way to go this is the spotlight right here this thing you will need a brushless esc so you this is you got to go all out for this right Got to change your ESC. You're going to need your own receiver. So you can see I've got a Lizard Pro with it to run this motor. And then I have my own receiver here for my Flysky GT5. Um, I'm going to fire this thing up, let you guys kind of see it real quick. All right, so I got a 3S Palm Power in there. And uh, check this thing out in low. So I think we could even crawl with this thing. I haven't put it on a crawler yet but that's a pretty good slow crawl right in runner motor that's crazy this truck's not meant to crawl but look at that i'm pretty sure this would work really well on a crawler so i'm probably gonna have to lock these diffs up and uh, or throw this in a another build but then you throw it in high and it's got dangerous parts breaking power. So uh, I'm gonna show you guys some running clips of this thing getting crazy and uh, we'll talk a little bit about it. So these first several clips here are really the first time I kind of had this thing out. You can see when I let off the throttle, it was nosing just a little bit. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you some settings that you're gonna wanna change in the ESC here shortly. But um, just to kind of talk about this motor, this thing screams. It takes this truck to a whole new level. You know, the FMS speed motor makes the truck actually more like a monster truck where you can enjoy it. Um, this truck is insane. That was the speed motor right there. This is the Fury Tech. You can backflip off of the straight ramp. That ramp is normally the ones I'm just straight jumping. And with this thing now, you can just backflip midair. I mean, it runs like our LMTs or something. It's crazy how much power this has on a 3S. Um, now, you're going to start breaking more, obviously. The bigger you jump, the harder you hit, that sort of thing. You're going to break more. There's the speed motor. Here is the Fury Tech. I almost got a double backflip, <laughs> but um, you can go adjust your throttle curve. You can dial it down, tame it a little bit, make it what you want. And that's what's so cool about the Fury Tech stuff. Um, I'm running the Lizard Pro, like I said, with this, and you know I can adjust it however I want. You see here, I decided I wanted to hit that wide open, and my pure skill driving was able to pull that off. You know, <laughs> there was no luck involved in landing that at all. No, seriously though, uh, having a blast with this thing. Just know when you do, like, it's like with any RC. When you put this much power and you start going bigger and going harder, 
you're gonna break things. I've stripped out some gears in this or something. Something in the rear end is not grabbing anymore. So I'm gonna have to dive into that. So I don't have a lot of really good running footage for you guys, just this little bit here. But I think you can kind of clearly see this thing is unbelievably powered now. Uh, I threw the power wagon body on there for a little bit just to kind of save the blue body um, because I was launching it pretty hard out here. And uh, you'll see you get a little nose willy and lose the body. <laughs> but here's some of the settings you're gonna wanna check. You wanna make sure you're on brushless and in runner. You don't want any of the others, not the Godzilla in runner, Komodo, any of that in runner for this motor. And then you're gonna wanna go to your running tab. You wanna make sure your drag brake is on zero. So you see your drag brake is on zero, then you can have your max brake and reverse whatever you want it to be. Um, I just left those at 100, but uh, you can change that up if you want. You can change your startup power, that sort of thing. But then you wanna go to your advanced tab right there, and you wanna enable boost, and you wanna enable turbo, and then you definitely want to enable freewheeling, all right? The freewheeling is really important. Um, that's what takes the drag brake completely out. Even though the drag brake's on zero, if you don't have free wheel on, it will still get a little bit of drag and some kind of, sometimes kind of endo and, and loop out. So you definitely want to make sure that's on free wheel. Um, after that, this thing is unbelievable. It's a beast. So this motor in this setup just takes this truck to a crazy level. Like it feels like you're driving, like I said, the LMTs or something like that. You just got so much power, so much snap and just able to do anything but um you're gonna break more stuff uh, I, it's just gonna happen you know but hey more fun more breakage so uh you can tell really just able to send this thing and i've got something like i said stripped in the rear end so it's not even full bore right now a little bit of speed there that's maybe half throttle seriously this thing is super fast i promise when i get the gears fixed i'm gonna get you guys a speed run uh, so that we can compare speed top speed and that sort of thing and then maybe throw this in a crawler as well just to just to try it but uh you'll see in just a second right here this thing it's got something stripped right here you can hear it grinding a little bit so i'm gonna have to tear into it but um this is definitely worth checking out if you just want the absolute beast mode uh you guys let me know what you think this comes with the transmission the transmission is stock transmission um, as far as I know, it's just stock plastic gears and everything and all of them. So, um, I'm going to throw metal gears in this one. You guys let me know what you think. I appreciate everybody. Peace.